All right, so today's video is going to be about the Coalition Base Camp. The Coalition Base Camp is one of the four buildings that you build around your Alliance Center when Reign of Chaos starts. Your R5 will place an Alliance Center building during ROC. You yourself will be able to place four different types of buildings. Those four types of buildings are Frontline Workshop, Coalition Base Camp, Assault Fortress, and Guardian Fortress. You can also get to them uh, via the Build tab down there. It lists, whoops, it lists all the, the buildings right here. So, We'll get into a different video for each of the buildings. So I'll do a video about Frontline Workshop, Assault Fortress, and Barricade Fortress. Today, we're talking about the Coalition Base Camp, what it's for, <clears throat> and how it's used. So basically, during Reign of Chaos, the entire map is, in a way, set up in a grid formation. And the object is to um, declare war on enemies from other uh, states, other provinces, and to occupy as much territory as possible and to occupy uh, these versions of resource plots right here which are slightly different than your normal ones so for instance this one right here is your normal iron mine the one that you see during regular gameplay this right here is called a crumbling mine notice the difference between the two that one has what looks like wooden structures on it, and this one looks like it's falling apart. Well, during Reign of Chaos, these are the ones that you want right here because they're going to give you resources, and you need to occupy the tile that they're on. This is a level one crumbling mine, which means it's the first level that you can take. Each tile depending on how close you get to the center of the map will be a different level. So as you can see up here, <coughs> that is a level five empty plot. And we've got level six um, crumbling mine. In order to occupy a tile, you need to have a couple things happen first. One, you can only occupy a tile that is adjacent to a tile that you have already occupied or a member of your alliance has occupied. So as you can see, green tiles like this one are tiles that I myself have occupied. Blue are tiles that a member of your alliance has occupied. White is a tile that someone from your state has occupied. During times of war, you will have um, red tiles. And red tiles are ones that the enemy have occupied. They may have occupied one, they may have stolen a tile from you um, or they took up an empty plot like the one I created right there. There are also purple tiles. So, green tiles, like I said, are ones that you have taken. Blue tiles are ones that members of your alliance have taken. Red tiles are ones that an enemy has taken. And purple tiles are are ones that the enemy still possesses after the war. If they were to come back and declare war on you again, that tile would turn red because they already um, occupied it. Your mission after a war and during war is to occupy any red 
and purple tiles so that the only thing around you are green, blue, and white tiles. Now you can occupy a white tile that an enemy um, created, but I don't re recommend it because usually alliances will work together and help take up territory and block enemies from being able to build rally points and teleport castles nearby. We'll get into that in a different video. Right now we're just talking about the coalition base building and tiles and how they connect. So, as you see when I click on a tile, it'll say what level that tile is. See that? Level one. That means I have to have enough, and it also tells you, if I go to view, it tells you what the, uh, um, the rebel zeal, or the guard power is, um, right here, the rebel zeal, how much influence you get from occupying it, and who owns it. You know and all that so let's go to an empty tile if I want to occupy that tile well that's not a good one you have to meet certain requirements so for instance this level five if I wanted to take that I need to have a certain um, I need to have a certain loyalty. So, my current loyalty is 2,201. The rebel zeal is 600. As long as my current loyalty level is higher than the rebel zeal, then I can occupy said tile. If the tile is too high, let me um, find one that might be too high. I definitely can't take level 12 yet. So, as you see, it's now red. Because my current loyalty is less than the rebel zeal. Now, technically... Some of these I can take, but it'll tell me, the, so this is a level 12. If I try to take this and force the occupation, I will get a 100% hit point loss, which means I won't be able to occupy that territory at all. If I so much as even try, all my troops are going to die. However, if I were to try to take a, I think right now my highest I can do is level seven or eight. So let's see, level nine. Okay, here we go. So here's one that's still in the red because my current loyalty is less than the rebel zeal, but it's pretty close. So this time around, if I were to try to take this level nine, I will suffer 18.4% loss um, of hit point. Uh, if I tried to force it. So if I were to try to take it, I'll most likely get it, but I'm gonna suffer an 18% loss um, trying to do it. So you really don't wanna take over any tiles that are outside of your power level. Now, how do you increase the power level so that you can take stronger and higher tiles? Because the higher the tile you occupy, the more uh, influence power you get. See, if I were to occupy this tile right here, I gain 400 influence on that. And if I were to occupy a higher level resource plot, I can now make 950 an hour of that particular resource just from that tile. With the lower ones, to this one here with the lower one so this is a level one I only make 
200 an hour right there only 200 an hour and i only get 50 influence points now the magic number that you want to be able to occupy is level 13. i believe level 13 is the highest level plot or resource plot that you can take and that is definitely up near the middle of um the map uh so let's see here either that or it's like throne level yeah there's level 13 the 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 level you want to be able to reach is level 13 um, because your score overall um, is increased by the, here you go, so your influence power, boom, you want it high, influence ranking, you want it high, because the higher that is, the higher your alliance uh, score is. So how do you increase your power and your loyalty level so that you can take these higher level plots? For instance, if I wanna take this at 4,800, but I'm only at 2,201, how do I increase it? Well, the coalition base camp, which is this building right here. The coalition base camp. When you upgrade it, these are the things that happen. Your troop loyalty goes up. It also increases, where am I at? There you go. As it says, coalition base camp can treat wounded units from territory battles, greatly reduces the healing cost. Um, you upgrade the coalition base to increase troop loyalty so you need to increase the level of your coalition base camp in order to take higher and higher level tiles and resource plots the higher the level the resource plot or tile the higher the influence score that you have the <clears throat> more resources that you can take in so that you get more of this material which is what you need to convert into materials to build. So if I wanna increase my coalition base camp, I need to get that material because coalition base camp requires that to upgrade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coalition base camp go to upgrade you can see that it takes food and military supplies and ale to upgrade so you need to if you want to produce a lot of uh, material because the higher up you go the more it costs as you can see this one right here my next level it requires 150,800 military supplies to upgrade so I need to be able to collect a bunch of material um, or a bunch of resources in order to create a bunch of that material. So if I were to sit here for 12 days right now, I could create 136,000 um, of that. And that's pretty much your coalition base building. You need the coalition base building to increase your troop loyalty so that you can take higher and higher and higher level tiles and resource plots. That's pretty much it, coalition base building. Check out the other tutorial.